problems arise in leadership, then you have to make those tough decisions. Uh, he stood and made those tough decisions on behalf of First Nations people. He'd always say, you know, I'm the MLA. I'm the most loved Aboriginal. And indeed he was. Not for only his stand on each leg, but how he carried himself with honor and dignity and respect and kindness and compassion. Elijah Harper passed away from a heart attack due to diabetes complication, but not before fulfilling a lifelong goal. I'll probably be fighting for Aboriginal rights until my last breath. In his later years, Harper became a consultant helping Aboriginal Canadians reach their full potential. I believe that Aboriginal peoples now have a greater pride and confidence in their ability. And Elijah should be remembered as, uh, you know, as, as a true First Nations leader of the time, a visionary of the time, and uh, you know when we think about Canada's constitution and the patriation efforts of the 1980s, Indigenous people will always remember Elijah Harper. They'll remember him for what he did in the in the uh, Manitoba legislature. And once in a while, you know, it's going to be okay for Indigenous people in Canada to say no. Elijah's gone, his work is not going to stop. We're going to continue to press his message and we're going to continue to look for a Canada that's going to engage our people in a respectful way in, uh, in, uh, in the Constitution. Mm -hmm.